So I had a comment on um, how the big John Deere and the tractors stuff drive. Um, they're pretty simple, really. Uh, I think it's easier than driving a car, you know. Um, well, basically, what I can tell you is over here is uh, A, neutral, B, and then the C. And that's your speed ranges. So, you know, C is for like travel speed kind of thing, and then B is, you know, a little light loader stuff. And, uh, you know, like if I was driving through a row or something, I'd probably go in B or something. Then A is for like your heavy loader duty, you know, heavy, heavy stuff, you know. So if you're pushing into a big pile of dirt, you'd stuff her in A, and then I normally stick, this is your four wheel drive too. I'd normally pull this up, uh, like that, and that locks in the four wheel drive. So they all, they all turn then. And, um, but I did notice though, these you have to, uh, when you got it in before and you're on pavement or something, uh, it's hard on it, but to get it out, you gotta stop and then back up. I guess there's a certain spots in there that it releases at. Right now it's releasing and engaging, it must be right in that spot, but uh, same with the shifter too, like it's shifting there, okay, but when you got it running, it, it sometimes won't go, so you just gotta kinda roll it a bit and then it'll pop out into whatever gear, you know? So whenever you get that selected, then uh, these pedals here, you know, pretty straightforward. This one's got an up arrow, so that means forward, and this one's reverse. So, just like the more you push it, the faster you go. So, you go right to the mat, you're going to be going full speed, depending on how much throttle you have, which is there. And of course, key switch, and that's your PTO engagement there for like my snowblower or something. And these are uh, light switches, and you guys should know what that is. I switched that switch for the, what they call creep to reposition and cluster of uh, gauges, you should know that. This is uh, signals, so you have signals if you're on the road. So that is, and then down here beside you this way is your uh, lift for your three-point hitch, which I don't have that kit for this because I don't normally take it off, but there's your three-point hitch lift arm there, right? When the, uh, the backhoe's on, there's a switch that the backhoe pushes on, I can't remember where it is now, but it pushes on the switch and uh, deactivates that so you can't lift this by mistake because that would do some damage on something. The strength of that lift would be pretty impressive, I bet. But, um, and these are for auxiliary hydraulics. So if you're running like, well, my snowblower for my chute, or if you have one of the buckets, you know, that are on the front that have the, the, claw, the claw on it or the clamp or whatever, you push on these or selecting whatever, and this, I think, shuts it on and off. It's really hydraulics. And uh, there's your stick for the loader up and down. And um, this is, um, that would be for your bucket here, for open and close kind of thing, or the chute for my blowers. That's like left, and then you push that, and it goes right. I'm not 100% sure what this other one on the front here is for, but uh, I never have used it. But, um, so the way that works is you, you, if you want the loader to go up, you pull this back. Or if you want it to go down, you push that down. And then this way and this way tilts your bucket. So if you want to scrape, you tilt her, you know, and it digs the bucket down. And you drive ahead and then scoop it back up and then lift it up. And So, yeah, that's how, uh, how this thing drives anyway. So let's uh, fire it up here and we'll show you the pedals and how I'm using them here. Make sure what gear we're in, we're in C, which is good. We don't need four wheel drive right now. And, oh, these are brakes here, too, by the way. So if you want to do like a brake turn, you hold one and you give it gas and it'll spin around for you, kind of thing. Or if you're putting both on, that's, you know, both, you can push this little, little lever down and then it locks both. And that's a, that's a emergency brake. You get quite a bit. That's a fuel tank. They've integrate, integrated it right into the tractor, which is kind of neat. You know, it doesn't stick out another six feet or whatever with a huge fuel tank on it. It's all molded plastic, right? Um, gotta lift our loader up, so lift that up. I gotta lock those pads down yet. I just took the bucket on, so now I'm pushing, pushing on there. Now we're only running at idle speed, so it's not going very fast. But we're backing her up now. I'll show you. 
tells of how this works too on the tobacco. It's pretty neat. You guys like my sticker? Yeah.